Welcome back to Making a Difference on Buzz TV. I'm Mike White. Join me today in the studio is Eric DeChico, the Assistant Professor of Theater at Jacksonville University. Welcome to the show. Hi, thanks for having me. So it, it has been five years or more since uh, we've been together and uh, thank you again for coming in. It's exciting to see that you are back in Jacksonville. Yes, and, yes. Um, and you are at JU uh, teaching theater. Absolutely, it's, uh, I'm, I'm born in Jacksonville, born and raised, and it's, uh, I've seen the flashing lights in uh, Five Points, so it's kind of like Hotel California. I can't really ever escape, um, but I think my end game was always to come back to Jacksonville and, and be an, a working artist here. Now, you did escape, and you and your wife, um, who your wife's in music and theater as well, mm -hmm. you guys both went to New York. We did. We went to New York City, and we accomplished a good deal uh, in a very short amount of time. Um, the last project I had in New York was for AMC. It was a show called The Making of the Mob. Um, best job of my life. I got to run around set all day carrying antique guns and sitting in old movie cars. So that was an amazing job. And then uh, about two years into that journey, uh, my wife got pregnant and we had a beautiful baby girl and here we are. So coming back to Jacksonville, um, the difference of theater, um, you have did a lot. Um, how many actually shows have you been in Jacksonville? Ooh, uh, we're gonna date me if I start. <laughs> a lot, uh, many. I've worked in almost every theater in the city. I've acted, I've directed, I've done musicals, I've done straight plays, I've worked at the Alhambra, um, Players by the Sea, Atlantic Beach. I've done shows downtown, so just all across the board. So how's it different from Jacksonville, Florida? And when you went up to New York, were you doing the similar types of projects? And uh, y yes, and aiming for them. I really, when I got to New York, I there's so very little opportunity in Jacksonville for film and television that I sank most of my energies into getting into film and television. And I signed with a manager who actually had some connections along that route. And I think that's how I eventually got those those jobs. Uh, theater is the same in New York. It's it's just an address. I always tell my students this: Broadway is just an address. It just I means you're at the theater that's at this address with a fatter budget than everybody else in Jacksonville, Florida. Also, theater is unionized in New York, so most professional theater is, uh, it, it hits a certain quality because it's been unionized. So is it harder, because the talent in Jacksonville, there's a lot of talent, mm. but based to the talent that's in New York City, is it harder to get the parts in New York than it would be to? Absolutely, <laughs> yeah. I you're mean, like, that's a silly question, Mike, of course it is. <laughs> yes and no, because there's a lot of jobs in New York there's way more jobs in New York and you might be that guy that gets in the line and they go oh you fit the costume let's go so there's a lot more opportunity but there's also a lot more people there fighting for those opportunities um, it's six to one half a dozen to the other any way you look at it now uh, something we share in common uh, we're both Eagle Scouts yes so um, talk about scouting how that influenced and affected your life oh uh, I uh, I carry everything I learned in scouting with me on a daily basis. I think especially my, my um, the way I gravitate towards service. I love, to, um, I love to be there. I love to help. I love to get the project done. And I feel good going to sleep at night knowing that I, I contributed something that helped. And that it's not nece necessarily something that I was getting paid for. It is not necessarily something that brought me any fame or glamour. But um, I, I carry those lessons with me every day. So what is, over the next two years, what's a passion project that you're working on on the side or something that's just sitting there that um, you, um, you put your time and energy outside of work into? I, okay, I recently started my pursuit towards a doctoral degree. Really? Um, yeah, I, yeah. It's, um, uh, call me crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, but I, uh, I think it will give me the tools and um, the skills that I need to take, uh, to take even bigger and better leaps in the education system because I've really found a passion there as well. Are you doing that at Jacksonville University? No, not at JU. Okay. We don't. Um, we only have a doctoral degree in business yet, uh, but I'm doing it through the University of New England. Um, it's an online thing, so I can still work and do what I love to do with theater, but I can also start applying what I'm learning in school uh, right now to what's going on like in the classroom and um, with what else I do on the university campus. So what would you like uh, prospective students to know about the program at Jacksonville University for theater? Oh, wow. It is... Um, 
a totally different place. I will know you, I will know your phone number, I will know when you're not in class, and I will find you. <laughs> uh, and I think that's what makes all the difference. You know, I needed a solid kick in the butt when I was 18, and I had an amazing mentor in Professor Debbie Jordan. And the weirdest thing is that she's my colleague now. We work right down the hall from each other, and I daily run out of the, my office and go, help! But. Uh, uh, the, the relationship that we develop with our students is, is very unique, and I never experienced that anywhere else that I've been in an educational setting. It's incredible, and JU and Tim Koss do a lot of great things for this community, and it's really a great establishment. Oh yes, man, I would, and this is glass, or I would like stand on the table and do some Captain My Captain for, <laughs> for Tim Cost because uh, I, I, I started JU as a student in 2001. I've seen it go through a lot of um, leadership, and Tim Cost has transformed our campus, and we are all the better for his leadership, and he's, he's truly an inspiring leader to work under. Well, thank you for all you do for the community and thank making you. a difference. It's a, always a pleasure to see always. you. Thank you for coming back in. Thank you. And to find out more about Eric and the projects at Jacksonville University, go to jacksonvillebuzz.com. Looking forward to seeing you next time on the Jacksonville Buzz.